kindergarten friends. Welcome to week two of your library packet. Week two of being stuck at home in your house and having to look at my beautiful face on YouTube. All right, friends, we are on to the letter R today. If you are in your packet, we are on the letter R, and we're going to do the same thing we did last week. So make sure you have your pencil or your writing utensil ready. All right, and we have um, our tracing page first. So go ahead, trace your capital R's, trace your lowercase R's, and trace our R word, which is the word rabbit. And our story today is going to be the tale of Peter Rabbit. That's a good R word. Go ahead and press pause on your video while you trace your R's. And unpause when you're ready for the next page. On the next page, we are circling our capital and our lowercase r's. While you start circling, I'm going to count how many r's we have. Fifteen. I counted 15 capital and lowercase r's, so make sure you count and that you have 15. And I noticed that some of my friends were having a little bit of trouble when you count your letters, and I know mine's going to be backwards from you, but the best way to count is to go across each row. Sometimes when my friends count, they count like this all over their paper, and then it's really hard to keep track. So if you just go across, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So when we count across, and up and down, then that's easier. We don't lose track of our number. Circle your 15. Let's go on to the next page. Our next page is our coloring. This asks for you to have a yellow crayon and a red crayon. Same rules as last week. If you don't have, this is my cat Beebs. He wants to be in the video too. If you don't have yellow and red, then you can just choose two different colors. Um, on this page, your capital R's are going to be yellow and your lowercase r's are going to be red. If you don't have yellow and red, choose two different colors for your capital and lowercase. On our next page, we have our, 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 our story and then our, that's hard to say, R and our our uh, comprehension questions. So go ahead, let's read this story together. It's called Racing Raccoon. Rick was a really fast raccoon. Rick was a racing raccoon. He liked to run in races. He ran a race on a road. He ran a race around a round track. He ran a race in the rain. He ran a race wearing red. He ran a race to win a rose. He ran a race to win a ring. Whatever the reason, he loved to race. That was kind of tricky to read. <laughs> that was fun. You should try to read that to your parents or your brother or sister. That was fun. All right, let's take a look at our comprehension questions, which are in the last page of our packet. Remember, we talked about how we bubble in our answers, so I'm ready. Our first question says, Rick was a really fast race car? No. Raccoon? I think so. Dog? No. Cat? No. We are going to bubble in our answer for raccoon. That means, let me see, I got my pink marker today. You're going to color in your letter B just like that next to raccoon. I know, I know, mine's backwards. You can figure it out. You guys are smart. All right. Let's look at number two. What does Rick like to do? Does he like to eat food? Miss A likes to eat food. I don't think Rick likes to eat food. He might, but that's not what the story was about. Let's keep going. 
Does Rick like to sing? I don't think so. Does Rick like to dance? You know what? The title of the story was Racing Raccoon. Letter D says, does Rick like to run races? That makes sense. That's what that was about. And it goes with the title. Take your pencil and bubble in D. Rick likes to run races. Good job. Number three, he ran a race wearing orange, red, yellow or green. I remember from the story that there were a lot of R words. So I think that he ran a race wearing a color that begins with the letter R. Do any of those colors begin with the letter R? Can you find one? Tell me a little bit louder. I can't hear you. I'm all the way over here. Oh, <laughs> I heard you guys. Red. He ran a race wearing red. That's the letter B. Color in your red R. Oh, you guys are so smart. Number four, does Rick run a race in the rain? I'm going to look back in my story, but I think so. It says he ran a race in the rain. He sure did. You can color in letter A because that says yes. Rain begins with the letter R. I felt pretty good about that. And number five, does Rick run a race to win a ring? Ring is also another R word. You're going to color in letter A. That is yes. So we have B, D, B, A, A to finish our racing raccoon answers. That was fun. Again, after this video posts, I'm going to add a link to the R song that you can follow along with. And there will be another video for um, our story, which is The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. Now, as you will notice, there was only two weeks worth of work in our packet. And this is week two already, which means after this week, there's nothing else in the packet for library. So make sure you are checking into Google Classroom. And next week, there will be work for you to do for library in your Google Classroom. I will give you a video on YouTube that tells you exactly what you have to do anyway. So don't be afraid. I'm here for you. I'm a superhero today. All right. So I will talk to you guys in a minute when we read Peter Rabbit. All right. Love you.